Let's take a look at a double reflection over the x-axis followed by uh, over the uh, y equals x line. This, these two have an acute angle intersection of 45 degrees, which uh, could be, uh, will be important to us as we look at this. So let's do a reflection. Let's take our triangle and reflect it uh, over the x-axis. The orientation has been reversed. Let's take that triangle again and reflect it one more time. Now we notice that uh, the orientation ABC in the counterclockwise, ABC in the counterclockwise, so our orientation is brought back to its original. We notice that uh, these points have moved along a circular path. And so we're pretty sure we're dealing with the rotation here. And now all we need to do is determine uh, the angle uh, of which uh, each of these has moved. So A to the center to a double prime. Let's measure that angle and see uh, how, how much of a rotation it's been. It's kind of lost in there a little bit. Let me bring my 45 out and oh, there it is. So the original angle was 45, but when we double reflected over it, we got 90. Go figure. I wonder what's going on there. 